Welcome back, my friends, to Dealer Simulator IMRP, and thank you so much for letting me steal some of your time. You guys seem to enjoy the first episode, so I thought I would do a second episode. I actually like this game. I like the idea of going and finding valuable items and then uh, being able to sell them. Uh, I got some great comments on the first episode. One of the things I'd like to point out right off the bat, skill tree. Did not know I had a skill tree. Uh, probably was told in the uh, tutorial, but probably forgot about it. But thank you so much for the comment that points this out. So this skill right here, Masterful Eye, is the skill that uh, everybody said to, uh, to get. Now, I don't know if I should go get that straight away, save up these points like I've been doing. Well, I didn't even know I was getting points until you guys pointed out the fact that this was here. But anyway, we've got 19 points, and that costs 35 to open up. I would really like to open that up. So I've got a few items out here ready for sale. It is actually uh, getting close to midnight, uh, day five of the game. Uh, so I have run a few, you know, run a few uh, uh, sales through here. You know, went and got a couple of uh, small lockers and uh, built us up a little money. And one of the things that I'm figuring out, and you guys let me know if I am right or wrong in this, but because of the way the day and night cycle go, it is probably better, and and I, you guys let me know, probably better to go shopping for your lockers during the evening and then uh, bring them back here, get them priced, and then get them ready for sale while I have stuff already sitting there for sale. That way we're not wasting the daylight hours uh, purchasing lockers. So you guys let me know what you think about that. And again, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. and. Uh, supporting the channel the way you have been. We've been growing very nicely, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all the subs, the likes, the comments, and the uh, support you guys have been giving me. It is fantastic. I am so happy. I'm so happy to hang out with you. You guys are my friends as far as I'm concerned. And uh, it's like we get to hang out and play together, and for me, that's what this is all about. Uh, nothing more and nothing less. And also to, you know, just show how the game plays and can the average skilled player enjoy some of these new games coming out. And I like to focus on simulation uh, as well as survival. And this guy's going to come out, right? No, dude, I got the right away. I love my sim games and they are doing well. So this is what we'll be playing. So let's go. I want to check this out. Don't want to get derailed here. How much is a store? Oh, 39,000. All right, so that's a lot of money, but this is a pretty big store, though. I wonder if they're in different sizes and uh, you just, uh, you know, decide based on the size if you want to save up for something bigger. I don't know. Just started uh, peeling the onion on this one. Uh, what I'm trying to do is head for a uh, storage locker facility. These uh, yellow icons directly in front of me. Uh, I've only checked out the one that's closest to the starting area of the game, you know, like where your uh, mobile home is. So I want to check out, gosh, how far away is this thing? I want to check out, you know, one of these other ones that are over here. But this seems like it's very far away. Trying to do a little driving with the keyboard as well, trying to get used to that instead of using my uh, Xbox controller. Holy cow, look how far away this stuff is. Quite a bit of driving here. Now, I also want to buy a new truck as well, uh, something bigger. All right, these look like they're at the end of the road here. I thought I'd explore the map in this episode. <laughs> oh, man, this... Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? That's some skill right there. Holy cow, I should not do that. Probably not a good idea. Wow, look how far away this is. I just want to see what this is. This is a, uh, I guess we can buy, um, storage lockers here. What is this? Let's check this out. What is going on in here? Oh yeah, we have lockers here. Well, that was a long way to go though. I, and one of the reasons why I wanted to go down here is I wanted to see, uh, if there's anything different. Let's grab, we've got $7,878. Let's grab this police... Depot 11. They've been pretty lucky for me. I think that first locker that we bought in the first episode was a police one as well. And, oh yeah, by the way, a uh, comment uh, on that I had asked is, you know, because we had gotten such a lucky uh, locker 
You know? Now where do I go find this thing? I'm gonna go on the sidewalk here. Excuse me. Coming through. Alright, well, wait, 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 where's the locker? Oh, it's right there. Oh, how am I supposed to get to that? I'm driving on the sidewalk here. Alright, this is the first time I've done this. Do I have to go in there? Let me check this out. Turn out the lights here. I actually turned on the lights, didn't I? No, I turned them off. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yes. All right, but we have to haul this all out of here so you don't get to drive into this type of locker. All right, well, that's cool. Oh, look at this. I forgot I had this ring right here. All right, we better not lose that. Like I said, you know, average guy playthrough. <laughs> I'm going to miss some stuff. I got to make some mistakes. Look at the size of this thing, and it's working. Can we get it out of here? <laughs> I can't even get it out of the door. All right, here we go. I'm going to have to turn it around again. All right, let's get this up here. This is interesting. They got some really, really cool stuff, do they not? I mean, am I right? I think I am. This is pretty cool. All right, well, I don't want you that. Uh, we need a bigger, we need a bigger car. I'm going to put it down just like this. There we go. Yeah, I'm still learning the controls, guys. You know, so please, you know, bear with me. Ah, these chairs are obnoxious, to say the least, with this small uh, truck that we have. Look at this. Got all these cars. These, these are wild. Love them. Great detail. Learning how, learning how to uh, turn things around the best I can. Right, let's get up here. Maybe we can just drop this, drop this guy right there. All right, we're getting there. Try to go as fast as I can. This is a skateboard. It's working. All right, what was this? A police locker, huh? All right, what they do? Confiscate all of these things? What are these all illegal or something? What's up with this? You know? All right, let me see if I can turn this like this and then maybe just kind of yeah that's exactly what i wanted to do all right that worked what do we got here this is a magazine and it's trash all right do you guys have a trash bin around here you do excellent all right what do we got in here all right let's let this uh let's open this up take a look looks like a suitcase we got some uh games a watch and some more games and some more games. All right. And some more games. And they're working. All right. So this is a bunch of games. All right. So let me get these. Uh, let me get these games real quickly uh, uh, put away here. And I do not want to do that. I want to actually, yeah, do that. Let me grab these games real quick. Drop that. And put that one right in there. And we have a watch here. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, this is nice. So, speaking of the watches, there has been an update. Let me let me show you guys this update. I'll I'll throw it up on the uh, on the screen here, and you guys can take a look at it. But uh, he's added more watches, and uh, this looks like one of the new watches. So that is uh, that's awesome. Yeah, take a look at that, huh? I love it. All right, let's put this away. Yeah, so he's updating the game. Uh, which is really cool. Like that. All right, can I just drop the watch right there? Yeah, that does look like one of the new watches. So uh, that alone will will pay for the uh, uh, the purchase of this storage locker. You know, you find a nice watch like that, like we did in the the first episode. We found we actually found a few of those watches, and uh, that's what got us uh, in the money so quickly. You know, we're up. You know, we're in the six. Almost, we're we're closing in on ten thousand uh, dollars here. Go ahead and get rid of this. And let's grab these shoes. Oops, I opened them up. Yeah, these are the inexpensive shoes. The shoes the shoes can go anywhere from like as simple as $5 up to a couple of hundred dollars, depending on the shoe. This purse, I think, is like $50 or something like that. But yeah, let's uh, let me close this so stuff doesn't fall out. We still have to get this chair. Now that just went flying. What is this? This is another shoe. This might be a more expensive shoe. Oh, we have a um, uh, a game console, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and put this away. 
Yeah, so this storage locker was definitely worth the drive and definitely worth the uh, money. We've I, I can already see that we're going to make our money back plus a very healthy profit on this one. I've never seen a blue pair of shoes, so I'm going to assume this is like I was just saying. Where's the door? <laughs> Hello, shoes. Come on. Come with me. Uh, yeah, that the, um, like, see, those shoes are in the orange box, and these are in the blue. So, like I had said, uh, there are different levels of uh, shoe value. So, that's probably going to be our first, oh, my gosh. I am just, what am I doing with this? I don't want this. Get this out of here. Thank you. Yeah, still trying to get used to this type of physics in the game. Uh, and this is good because, you know, having average skills uh, helps you guys see whether this might be, you know, like something you might want to deal with or not deal with. I remember playing uh, the first storage hustle and I was having a heck of a time uh, dealing with all of the uh, stuff. What is this? Another um, another game console? X-Play? Yeah, look at that. We got and they're working. See, this is this is the best part. We haven't gotten anything that's in need of repair, so we're not going to have to waste money. Uh, repairing anything and we're getting everything into the truck which is awesome let me get out of the way look at this all shoes all shoes all right and then we have to put that chair in there and we'll be set all right i gotta get this shoe to lay down yeah let's grab this shoe all right let's see how much money we can make off of this lot today this is night nice. we still have stuff already that we're going to be selling we will get that stuff sold and then we will uh, sell this stuff and we'll uh, see how much we made and yeah, I really want to get a shop So I'm probably gonna go around and look uh, You know off camera to see what the prices of shops are and what the prices of a new house You know get an idea of what we need to uh, Work towards in order to you know better our situation also a vehicle. Why can I not get you out? There you go. Can you are you are you stuck? Why are you stuck? Can you come out this way that way? Okay? There we go. Yeah, like I said, still learning. Now, this is going to be really, really... Ch oh, 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 oh. Let's just drop it. Let's just drop it. Oh, gosh. I don't want to knock everything. You can literally knock everything else out. I want to try to... So that it's going to stay. I don't want it to fall out. All right. Hopefully, hopefully that'll stay. We have everything. I don't think we left anything behind. So let's go ahead and get on out of here. And yeah, my, my theory... Or my, my, my strategy is to buy the lockers at night and get them bought and then get them to the, um, where am I going, by the way? Hold on here. Where's the map? This is what I don't like. I can't tell from the map where we need to go because we can't move the map. The map does not allow independent movement, but I don't think we're going to be going this way. I think we need to go this way. So yeah, I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I'm trying to record as uh, many videos as I can over the weekend before heading back to work on Monday. And then I try to get as many uh, videos recorded uh, from Monday to Friday. I try to give myself one day to just come home and actually play games. Just like actually enjoy the game without recording or anything. You know, just play different types of games and because that's what I do. I work, come home play games. Not really much of a TV guy, although I am enjoying Shogun on FX that just came out. I don't know if you guys have checked that out, but uh, yeah, that, that show's pretty damn cool. I really uh, I really enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good one as, as always, and thank you as always for hanging out with me as we explore these simulation games that have been put together by you know just uh independent game developers and i and i really like to support that i really like to see how their ideas are and uh you know explore their games and see what they have to offer let's get this stuff back to the flea market actually we should probably go home and get some sleep and then get the next day going because uh yeah, looks like time has stopped at 2300. Looks like we have to end the day. So I'm going to get us back to where I live, hopefully. Oh, 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 dude, 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 dude. Look at that. Look at that. You guys, man, you guys are awful. Awful drivers. That's obviously not my fault. But anyway, let me get back to the house and we'll, uh, we'll get the day ended. I guess we do have to do that. And uh, then we'll get this stuff back over here to the flea market and we will continue on. See what kind of money we make in this episode. All right, home sweet home. 
definitely want to get out of this uh, trailer and get a house maybe that's closer to, uh, you know, our shop, like when we actually get this uh, up and running. All right, let's go ahead and sleep. All right, we bought a storage locker, so that's the uh, negative number, but we do have some nice stuff in the back here. Looking forward to seeing how this stuff sells. So far, the chair's hanging in there. It hasn't fallen out. All right, I'll meet you guys at the uh, flea market, and let's get this stuff offloaded. Or actually, let's open the flea market, get the stuff that we have already on the table sold, and let's see what we made with this stuff. I am very, very anxious. This looks like a nice haul. All right, and I want to see what that watch fetches us, because that looks like one of the new watches from the update. So I'll catch you guys when I get to the flea market. All right, here we are. We're back at the flea market. Put the truck a little bit closer to the computer so when we have to, uh, you know, check prices, it's going to be a little bit easier. And I do want to get this chair out of here as fast as possible so that it does not upset the apple cart. And we're just going to go ahead and throw this right in here. And we'll go ahead and get that. Pr we have bills to pay. Well, how do I pay bills? Hold on. Hold on. I got to pay bills. Do I do it from my computer? How do I pay bills? Let me get the price of this chair. All right, it looks like a basic office chair. Looks like it's $66. But no, it's a different one. Let me check this out real quick. This one, it's $13. This is worthless. Okay. Go ahead and say $15. Accept. All right, so how do we pay the bills? That's what I want to know. I have my skill tree. Uh, I have no idea how to pay the bills. Uh, I can add fuel to the car, and I can go to the vehicle. I did not know that. All right. But how do I pay bills? All right, I'll have to figure that out. Let's go ahead and... Uh, this is a very large item, so I want to go ahead and price this up. And we're going to put it right here. All right. Put that down there. And this is a RC Drift. What's this called again? RC Drift Special. All right. RC Drift Special. They all are about the same price. Looks like if we just put it up for 300 bucks, that's probably just the best way to go. Let's go ahead and put this up for 300 All right. I don't know how to pay the bills, and that's going to bother the heck out of me. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and open this. I have no idea where you pay the bills. Hello. Good morning. The shoe, $4. Uh, can we bargain? How about $6? I like to bargain. Nope. How about $5? You got to give me a little bargaining power here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Everything's priced. Okay. Yeah. Thought for a second there we had unpriced items, but I did price things. Looks like somebody's going for the RC car. Let's see. Are you going to be reasonable? 272. How about you give me, we're going to start at 290. Yep, oh, we got it for 290. All right. Yeah, I do not know how to pay bills. So if anybody knows how to pay bills, if I don't figure it out by the next episode, please definitely drop a comment in there for me. Uh, uh, that would be very, very helpful. I, mean, I, I, I would have I thought it would have been like on the computer or something. Hello, hero. I would really like to get 30 for that. Please, 30. Oh, come on, you people. How about 29? All right. There you go. Because I want to get this other stuff on the table. As a matter of fact, while this stuff is going, where is the watch? I'm going to grab the watch if I can. All right. Somebody's got their eye on the camera. Uh, 283, if I can get 290 for it, you can have it. There you go. All right, excellent. Excellent. All right, what is this? This is RC Fast Racing. RC Fast Racing. All right, this goes for uh, 176 or 100 and something. All right, we got a customer. What do we what do we got? The chair? Yeah, I'm not even gonna I'm not even going to uh argue. You can have the chair. Alright, let's go ahead and put this for like put it for like 120, something like that. See if we can get 120 for this. All right, and I do have that watch. Where is my watch? Is this the watch? Yes, this is the watch. 
And I do want to see what this watch is worth. So I'm going to put it right here for now. And we're going to deal with this customer a headset. Try to bargain. How about 15? Can you, can you spare 15? No? All right, get out of here. You go ahead. Let me go ahead and sell it. Get rid of this. Close this and sell it. No? Uh, bargain then. How about uh, 12? There you go. All right, excellent. Now, what is this This watch is worth? I think this might be one of the big ones. Let's t let's check it out. Oh, really? It is not. Oh, he act he added more watches, but they seem to be cheaper than 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 this. This is the watch I got on the last episode. We got two of these. That really helped us out. All right, so that looks like it's only going for uh, four hundred bucks. All right, this head yeah, that headset is exactly. All right, so the two we had two headsets here. I should have shown you guys this, and they were both white. And there was a slight difference. The only difference that you could see and that I was able to know how to price it was the thickness of the, uh, of the padding around the uh, earpiece. One had a thinner and one had a thicker. The thinner one was worth more money. Uh, and that's how I was able to uh, distinguish the difference between two headsets that looked exactly the same. Uh, just a little tip for you there. It was the, uh, the thickness of the uh, padding. All right. Hello. Uh, $62, and I put it, oh, I put it up for a hunt. How about, how about 75? Can you do 75? No? Can you do, um, can you do 70? All right, cool. All right, what else do we have? Let's keep it going. Oh, we got this ring. Let's go ahead and put this ring up here. And I think we got to turn this around. No, no, it's the small side down. And then it opens up this way. Yeah. Oh, that's a diamond kind of diamond is that? Is that the uh, smooth cut or is that the uh, rough cut? Looks like the smooth cut. Hold on a second. Hold on there, buddy. This only take me a second. All right. Looks like looks like this one. I'm going to I'm going to try 400 bucks for this one. And what they offer me will probably be closer to what it actually is. All right. Hello. How are you? Uh, the watch. Uh, how about 290, man? You know, let's round it up. There we go. All right, I have bills to pay. That's really bothering me. I don't know why. I don't know how to pay the bills. I just don't know how to do that. There's nothing in tab. Uh, there's nothing on the computer other than, you know, just to be able to look stuff up. I mean, none of these things work. Buy, service, history, gift, sell, uh, account. None of this works. None of this drop-down works. Just the search feature uh, work. Oh, wait a minute. Shop manager? No. Bank? Uh, no, that's for a loan. Mail? Oh, click here to pay invoices. There we go. There we go. Did that do it? Let's get back on Amazon. Yep, that got rid of... Okay, I figured it out. Look at that. <laughs> I figured it out. Who who knew I could actually figure it out? There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and sell that. Thank you. We're doing well. What else do I have here? Anything of value? How about the skateboard? Let's throw the skateboard. I'm just going to throw the skateboard right here. I'm not going to put it up there. I'm going to look it up. All right. This skateboard is worth $132. Very good. $132. Price that up. Oh, somebody was looking at the ring and then he left. Oh, well, they actually leave if you don't tend to them quickly. I believe that might be the case. All right. We'll have to, we'll have to be aware of that as we're trying to throw stuff up here. Oh, we got these game consoles to put up. Just don't want to miss a sale. All right, let's let's price this. What is this? This is an X Play. Let's see what an X Play goes for. X Play. Is it one word or two? Looks like it's two. All right, X Play. All right, that's six hundred and sixty-three or seven hundred. Hi. Oh, oh, dude, come on. No, 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 no. No, that's in good condition. Get out of here. All right, we can put this up for like a couple of hundred bucks. Uh, put it up for 175 See if we can get rid of it for 175 This was a good storage locker, though, right? We got a, we got a, good, uh, got a good amount of stuff. This is the other one. This is Playtrack 5. All right, this is worth $700. Very good. Do I got somebody coming up here? I do. Somebody wants the uh, game game console. What do you think? Did I price it fairly? 
I did. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and we can put this one up for... Uh, now, this is going to blow up, so let's move this. And let's move this. And now we can pick it up. And I believe this was $700, right? Go ahead and price this up for $700. There we go. That's what it was, right? Yep. 700 bucks. Yeah, we made a, a an excellent, excellent haul here. Yeah, we've got our money back, and now we're into the profit. We learned how to pay our bills. Uh, I tell you what, I will bargain, uh, but it's going to be six seventy-five. Oh, sweet. All right, we still have this ring. Now, I might not be getting the price on this correctly. This might be the cheaper one, but usually they'll... They'll offer that price if it is, so that you get an idea if you kind of messed up there. What else do we have? Anything of value? We've got the shoes. They don't really sell for that. I would like to see what the blue shoes sell for, though. I haven't sold a pair of these yet. So let's go ahead and open this up. And these are the sneakers with green and black. Let's see what those go for. Like I said, they're in different values. Here we go. See? All right. Green and black... All right, so these might be these right here, the $106 ones, maybe. Although the ones I have have green in them. Let me take a quick look here. Right, a lot of shoes, right? Look at all these shoes. Probably got a customer here, right? I probably miss customers. All right, just have the ring out there. That's the only thing left to sell until I put something. Let's try this shoe <laughs> just for the for the heck of it. I'm going to put it up there for 100 bucks. Let's see what it goes for. Let's see if it does go for 100 why not? There you go. All right, come on. Getting towards the end of the day. But yeah, I think the strategy of going out at night and then doing your uh, locker purchasing and then, you know, getting that done in the night. That way you, you get the whole day to uh, sell. You're not, uh, you're not trying to put the selling and the buying in the same time frame. And it looks like the game stops at 2300 until you go and end the game. You know, by going to sleep to tally up the day. Uh, so I like that. It's good to know. There are items without an external price. How can that be? Oh, take them for $80. Excellent. Where is an item without an external price? That item's priced. This is what's, uh, this, this is what's funny to me is that it does this from time to time. So now if I put it down here and let's price this for 175 all right, see, I just I just repriced it, picked it up. Obviously, that was the only thing that was causing any kind of issue. And I don't understand why that did that. We didn't do anything to it. This guy's looking at the ring, or she's looking at the ring. Good, okay, I think we are closer to the price. <laughs> yeah, much closer to the price. Could you at least give me $125 for the ring? No? What about $100 for the ring? Thank you. All right, that sold that. Uh, we still have a little time. Let's go ahead and see if we can just uh, sell these shoes real quick. We did sell that one pair of shoes. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, these are brown with a white trim. But can I find those quickly? Brown with a white trim. All right. Brown with a white trim. I am not seeing it right off. Not brown with a that that's brown but that's with a brown this is with a white trim though ah this give me a headache <laughs> this give me a headache i'm gonna go ahead and price it i'll just throw them up there for fifty dollars you know i could be right i could be wrong i got these right here we can we still have a few minutes these i know are very cheap we'll go ahead and we'll we'll throw these up here for eight dollars all right, somebody's looking at the sneakers. All right, fifty dollars, uh, thirty-one dollars. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. You know, no, no use in hanging on to it if we can get rid of it. We got these. These are very cheap as well. I'll go ahead and put these down here. We'll do the same thing. Give them a price of you know like eight dollars. I know these are the cheap ones. I'm not even going to pretend that they're not. I just want to try to get rid of them. If we can, before the night is over. The night is over in an hour. So if we can get a couple of uh, things sold before the day ends, that'll be awesome. I'm just going to put these up for five bucks. Hello, would you like some shoes? Seven? Absolutely. Oop, don't want to send you away. Sell. See what I mean? 
Oh, what is this? Oh, this needs to be repaired. Let's go over here to my friend. I'm going to call this guy Jimmy. Jimmy the repairman. Jimmy, could you repair that for me? Thank you. Just get a quick repair on this. And try to sell everything before we end this episode. Right? Put this down here. This is Hello Air 3. Right? Hello Air 3. And that is worth 60 bucks. All right. Yeah, I definitely want to get that skill that uh, lets us see, you know, the prices. You know, we're almost there. We're at 27.5. I think I am going to go for that skill straight up because we're very close to it. All right. There are items without a price entered. And where would that be? That's that's prices entered. That price is, oh, right here, these shoes. Oh, yep. Well, I entered a price. What's up with that? There we go. Five bucks. All right, we're getting close to the end of the day. These shoe, th these items probably won't sell, and uh, but we did make a lot of money. We made, we made some money here, folks. Uh, we definitely made some money. I'm not going to tally it at the end because uh, before we do our next episode, we're going to always do our shopping at night. So once 1900 comes around and we have to close this up, which is right now, we're done. Uh, I know we made some good money here. I wish there was a way to track. Uh, this stuff on your computer, like shop man. Well, we got to buy the shop for that. And then we, I guess we get to hire workers. So there's a lot of things that we can do. We can take a loan out. You know, you guys let me know what, what's a good approach at this point in the game. Do I just grind out lockers or do I take out a loan and maybe open up a shop? I'm very interested uh, to hear what your guys' strategy is. And uh, as always, thank you so much, everybody, uh, for hanging out with me. And if you enjoy the episodes, please do not forget to hit that like button. It does help to uh, establish the channel on YouTube and helps us uh, get out there. So, again, thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.